welcome back to my channel. Um, this is just um, a little video on some of my bits that I've bought for the new baby. Not really clothing, just kind of things that we've got for the nursery. Um, I thought might be useful, just a few ideas. Um, we don't know what we're having, we don't know if it's boy or girl, so I've kind of stuck to a very neutral theme of just grey and white mainly. Um, and we've decided to go with elephants with this baby. Layla Rose had a lot of bunnies, um, which kind of ended up evolving into something else, but we started out with a bunny theme for her room. So we're doing elephants with this baby. So I thought, well, if it's a girl, I can just add some pink into the room. And if it's a boy, I think probably mint green. So that will look quite cute. So yeah, let me show you what, uh, what I've got. Just a few of the little bits for the room, like keepsakes and things like that as well. The first thing is this muslin. This is a little bunny rabbit. I think I'm gonna use this as the one I take to hospital and just kind of the one that I keep for the baby to have from when it's born. Um, so it's a little gray bunny, it's really cute. And it's by a brand called Ly Leewood, I think they say, Lywood, Leewood. Um, I got it on the Natural Baby Shower website, which is a website I've used loads in the past with Layla Rose. Um, they often have kind of deals and discounts and stuff. And it's organic cotton, and yeah, I just thought that was really sweet. They've got lots of different ones. And then also from the same website, because we're doing an elephant theme, I just got this little really cute knitted elephant. Again, it's 100% organic. Um, th this won't be a toy, like I won't give this to the baby. This will live on one of the shelves as like a, a special keepsake thing, but I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, Little elephant, it's quite sweet. And then another elephant that I got is just a Dumbo. I got this on Amazon. It's just a little Dumbo. I thought that was quite sweet. And again, I'll keep that on one of one of the baby's shelves, just as a nice keepsake to have. Um, the next thing I got is these milestone cards. Now I wasn't sure what to get this time round because we we knew we were having a girl last time. It was really easy. I kind of picked everything out really quickly. I just went quite girly. I didn't know whether to get something just black and white for this baby or or whether to wait. But I wanted a one for like the first photo just to say like hello world. So I found these on Etsy and they're Peter Rabbit and they're really, really cute. Um and they're not too floral, so they're fine for a boy or a girl. They've got all the month cards on them. And then they've also got things like Today I crawled for the first time. Um and just a few things like that. I think all those ones are towards the back. Today I got my first tooth. So yeah, I just thought they were really, really cute. And yeah, they're from an Etsy shop. So I'll try and find that. And Peter Rabbit's lovely. So I thought they would be really nice. And then the next thing I got is another elephant. <laughs> this is a little night light. This is just from Asda from George. It was only about six, six quid, I think. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really cute, just to have on the bedside table, the little nightlight. The next thing is this. This was actually really expensive. I love these jelly cat teddies though. Um, Layla Rose had loads. I Most of them were gifted. I never ever bought a massive one like this for her. I don't think she had any of this, this, this size. I don't actually think they used to do them this big, or at least you didn't see them a lot in the shops. Now the massive ones are everywhere. I think I got this in... Is it Waterstones? Yeah, I think it was Waterstones. And I saw it ages ago and I was like, I need to get this for the baby. It's so gorgeous. I love all the tentacles. I think it'll be really fun to play with. Um, yeah, just just really cuddly and really fun. And it's, it's called Odell, the octopus. <laughs> and I just thought, yeah, it was a bit of a splurge, but it's the first teddy we've got for the baby and he's so lovely. Then the next thing is this height chart. So with Layla Rose, I got I just got like a, um, a cheapy cardboard one off Amazon that had different stickers on it and she tore it, it got ruined. We had it stuck up in the old house on the playroom wall and it just got destroyed. So I thought this time around, I want to get a really nice one that we can keep in the nursery and actually do it properly this time. And I got this from a website. There's something else here from the same site and I can't remember what it's called. I think it was one of those websites that you find via Instagram, and it was a bit like the natural baby shower, if you've heard of that one. It was one of those kind of places where they sell all sorts of bits for nurseries and clothing and toys and accessories and stuff. 
and I just really really liked it because it's black and white and it looks like a proper tape measure it's got a wooden hanging thing and yeah I just thought that that would be really nice for the baby's wall so yeah and I don't think it was very expensive I can't actually remember how much it was but I'll try and find that website and then the next thing is just this little picture frame again an elephant I just got this in Card Factory, I think it was £2, um, but I thought it would be nice on one of the baby's shelves, just with a few, with one of its newborn pictures, because I'll probably get photos down at the hospital. I just did the bounty photo shoot last time, so they come around the hospital. Um, I, th I guess they must do this in most hospitals. I'm giving birth in a different, pl I'm in, I've moved counties, so I'm giving birth in a different place this time, so I don't know the hospital that well at all yet. Um, I've only been there for like a couple of my... Um, appointments but I assume they my memory card keeps filling up so annoying um yes as I was saying um the bounty photos I will hopefully will get the newborn photos done again so I'm going to pop, pop one of them in here because I think this is really really cute and then the next thing is this basket I'm sure maybe you can see it it's an elephant <laughs> it's from next um I think it was about eight pounds it's not a massive basket, like, I thought it would be bigger than this. I didn't look at the dimensions, because I always do that when I order things online. Um, but actually, I think for the nursery, it will be fine, because we've got such a lot of toy boxes and stuff downstairs already in the playroom. I don't think I'll use this downstairs anyway. I think it will live in the bedroom, because it matches the bedroom theme. And so it's fine for just a few bits and bobs when the baby's younger, like toys and stuff. But how cute is that? Little ears. I just thought that was really lovely. So, yeah got that one um, so the next thing is a swaddle so again last time I didn't really do swaddles with Layla Rose she didn't like being swaddled I tried doing it with the big muslins I love Aiden and Anae that's my favorite brand for muslins and muslin cloths and I had quite a lot of the big giant muslins I again I've, I've got new ones for this baby but I'll kind of probably include those in the hospital bag when I do a video on that because I'm going to take the one, two nice ones I've got I'm going to take with me um, but she didn't really like being swaddled so I never really bothered with swaddles but I'm going to try again with this baby um, and this one this is the first one I got actually this is a grow swaddle so the brand is called grow swaddle I got this on Amazon it was it was on offer I think this pattern was on offer but I liked it because it's gender neutral and it's quite cute and they just wrap around, and this one doesn't have any Velcro actually, I think it's literally just a wrap one. Um, but it's, a, it's quite a light material, um, because the baby's due at the beginning of September, so the first couple of months it's still going to be quite warm. So a lot of the stuff I've been buying has been like winter tog and things like that, but, but actually for the first two months at least, it's probably going to still be quite kind of like summery into autumn weather so it's probably not going to need a really thick um, sleeping bag. This is the next one that I've got which is a Gross Snug which I think is the same brand as it's Gross Snug, the Grow Company yeah so um, and this one is 0-3 months and it's does it say how many togs? It doesn't. This is, this is thicker, I can feel that this one is thicker, but I really like this one because um, it's got the snap poppers for the arms rather than Velcro. I hate Velcro. Literally with Layla Rose, like the amount of things with Velcro that would go in the washing machine and either I'd forget to turn the tabs around and they'd stick to things, or they didn't have tabs, and so stuff was just coming out, and certainly like with muslins and stuff like that, it was just tearing the material or pulling stuff. I just find it so annoying. Um, I like things that I've got. Sorry, my memory card was just full there, so I had to delete a couple of things. Yeah, so this one is really cute. It's just plain grey, it's got the poppers, and it's got a zip right down the side. So I quite like that one. Um, and then there's only a couple more bits. It's just a couple of cardies. So this one I got from the same website as the height chart. I can't remember what it's called, but I thought it was really cute. It's got bunny ears, and it's basically like a sleeping bag with a button. Brand says Anju, but I don't know. Um, and that I had it's all washed, all these bits have been washed. Um, this is a hand wash, though, it's a bit annoying. Um, but I thought for winter months this would be really nice, like in the pram when we go out for walks and stuff. 
So yeah, I just thought that was super cute. And they did this in quite a few different colours. And that's just the grey one. And then the next thing is a little grey cardigan. Again, it's got bunny ears. Really sweet. I think this one is Next. Yeah, this is from Next. Um, not three months, just a little quite thick cardigan. So again, for the winter months, this would be really, really good. And then I've got, I love these with Layla Rose. We had, I had them in all the sizes up until they stopped doing them. These are the Gap ones. Um, I always use vouchers for Gap, but because they are quite, I think these are about 20 something to buy full price. I've never paid more than about 13 or 14 pound for one. Um, this is the first size one that I got in just a cream. And they're really, really good. And they actually come up quite big because I find Gap baby stuff can come up quite small. Um, and they're just so cute, I love them. So this one is in all three months and I've got a red one and a couple of others ready for this baby. Um, and Layla Rose was still using hers up until this just this winter gone. She was still in like a 12 to 18 month one because it, it fit her really well. And then the last item I have is this little pram suit, which is a, I think this is a lamb. Yeah, it's a little lamb. I've washed it. I think it's all right. It's gone a bit, I don't know, the, the material's... It's not as soft as it was, but I followed the washing instructions. This is from M&S, and this is just a not to three month pram suit that I thought was really cute. I need to get a few more of these um, for the winter months, um, probably in the three to six months, because the baby might get quite big quite quickly. But yeah, so that one's from m and I thought that one was quite sweet. So that's everything that I've got to show you. As I said, it's just a few bits. It's not really clothing. It's just some of the little bits that we've got um, before the baby arrives. I'm not going to get anything else now until the baby's born because we don't know if it's a boy or girl. I don't really want to buy any more grey stuff. I think I want to wait and then start to like add some, some colour in. So yeah, so that's everything that we've got um, so far. And I hope that's useful just to give you some ideas of a few bits. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you.